going on, friends? I'm Jean, and I'm so glad you're here today. We're talking about an amazing truth today that's going to change your life when you believe it. And we really want you to believe it because it's some of the best news you'll ever hear. Let's get started. All right, this month, we're talking about what we believe. And it's some pretty amazing stuff. And we've been using this verse all month long. And this verse helps us understand more about what we believe. It's John 3, 16. Hey, read it out loud with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Now, wow, like there's a lot in this one verse. And right there at the very beginning, we're hit with a super important truth. God loved. God loved us. I mean, he loved you and he loved me. And then because God loved, God gave. He gave us Jesus. And Jesus died and came back to life and made a way for us to have a relationship with God forever. I mean, whoa, like, that's a big thing to believe. God loved the whole world so much that he gave us Jesus. So what does it mean to believe? And how can we believe that Jesus died for us and that he's alive if we can't see him? Well, listen, you believe in stuff you can't see all the time. Okay, check this out. Take the wind, for instance. When I turn this fan on, I, I can't see the wind, but I can see the streamers moving. I mean, we believe in the wind even though we can't see it because we see what the wind is doing. Or what about a balloon? Do you know what this balloon is filled with? What is it? Yeah, helium. Have you ever seen helium? Like, can you see helium? I didn't see anything, right? But you just saw what the helium did. I mean, you saw me fill up that balloon with helium. You didn't see it. And then when I let it go, it did what helium does, which is go up. So we believe in helium and in wind, even when we can't see them. So we can believe Jesus is alive, even though we can't see him with our eyes. Another way to talk about believing is to say we trust. Ah, a chair. Actually, this is perfect. So you know what chairs are for, right? Right, they're for sitting. But you don't examine a chair before you sit down, do you? I mean, you don't look at it and think, I wonder if this bad boy is gonna hold me up. No, you just sit down. You put your weight on it and you just trust that it's gonna hold you up. I have to sit down to show you I trust, and trusting in something is an action. I mean, it's something you do. That's what God wants us to do. If we want to have a relationship with God forever, we just need to believe or, or trust that Jesus died and that he came back to life for us. And if we believe that, all we have to do is tell him. And it could sound something like this. God, thank you for loving me. I believe that you sent Jesus to fix my sin problem, and I wanna have a relationship with you forever. Amen. And it's that simple. And here is the really cool part. When we tell God we believe, we receive a gift. We receive a relationship with God now and forever. And that's really the best gift ever because God loves you so much that he'll never leave you. It's kind of just like these powerful magnets. Nothing, nothing can separate, nothing can separate you from God. And get this, a relationship with God lasts forever. Meaning that someday you'll go to heaven and live with him forever. And heaven is more awesomely amazing 
than you could ever imagine. You wanna know why? Because there's no bad things in heaven. Sadness? Nope, not in heaven. Pain? Nope, not there either. Sickness? Nope. Pandemics? Nope. There won't even be any band-aids in heaven because you're not gonna need them. No worry or loneliness or fear. None of that. Heaven will be nothing but total awesomeness. Better, brighter, more mind-blowingly amazing than anything you can imagine because when we believe in Jesus, we receive a relationship with God forever. God loved the whole world. God gave his only son. And when we believe in him, we receive the most amazing gift, a relationship with God now and forever. And here's an easy way to remember. God loved, God gave, we believe, we receive. Why don't you say that out loud with me? God loved, God gave, we believe, and we receive. When we believe in Jesus, we receive a relationship with God forever. Remember, when we believe in Jesus, we receive a relationship with God forever. Let's pray. God, thanks for loving us so much. And because of that love, you gave us Jesus. And so thank you that Jesus died for us and that he's alive now. And that when we believe that, we can have a relationship with you that will start now, right here. But it'll last forever in heaven, God. Thank you for all of that. We love you so much, amen. Man, there is so much packed into that verse. It's like a serious truth bomb. And with something that important, we gotta make sure we do three things. You know what they are? We need to learn it, lock it, live it. And we've already spent some time learning about it. So now let's work to lock it in. When we lock in God's truth, it helps us remember it when we need it most. And the truth in this verse, we need to remember all the time. So let's jump right into locking it in. Here is our verse for the month, but it's got some blanks in it and I'm gonna help you fill those in. And if you can't, that's okay. You're still learning it and locking it in by listening to us fill in the blanks. So don't sweat it if those blanks are making you sweat. Let's see if we can fill it in. Here we go. For God, that's right. For God so, we talked about it today. God did what? He loved, yes, God loved. For God so loved the, who did he love? The world, nice. For God so loved the world that he, this was the other thing God did. God loved and God gave, right. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only, who did he give? He gave us Jesus, who is God's son. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever, this is something we have to do. We have to, starts with a B, whoever believes. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have, this is something we get, it's eternal life, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And we can find all of this in the book of John in chapter three, one more blank, 316. We did it! For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 316. Nice job, everyone. You'll get this verse in no time. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. And listen, be sure to check in next week because we're gonna talk about what we can do once we do believe in Jesus. And it's pretty awesome. See you then.